In the previous video, uh, we came across the term uh, Internet Protocol uh, as being the, uh, the core uh, protocol that makes the Internet operate. Um, let's take a step, step back and understand what is a network protocol. Um, we have a pretty good understanding of a human protocol, um, which is our, the language we use to communicate. So when I say what's the time, you know what I'm asking because there is a common understanding between us, uh, a common set of rules which makes it possible for you to understand the question what's the time or anything else I'm saying right now. Uh, similarly, I, I could say I have a question, we do introductions, we communicate because there is there are specific messages that are being exchanged between us. So there is a specific format for it and there is specific uh, actions that are taken when a message is received. Uh, so we know what it means and we, we do something based on what we hear. A network protocol is the equivalent of uh, that in the machine, machine world. So instead of humans, it's machines who exchange network uh, protocol messages. And there are very uh, specific and well-defined um, uh, rules that are followed for these protocols to work. So the protocols define format, order, order of messages sent and received and what action should be taken when you receive a message or when you send a message. And in the case of a com network protocol, the rules are a lot more strict and less ambiguous because computers cannot uh, follow ambiguous instructions so it, they need to have a clear very specific understanding of what uh, what each um, um, message means and what action needs to be taken so uh, continuing on that example you could see uh, here is an uh, example on the left of like a person saying hi to the other person and usually you respond with the hi and then the first person is asking what's the time and the second person knows what that question means and answers that question with it's two o'clock. Uh, you see a similar um, set of operations happening when two computers talk and uh, you don't have to understand what a TCP connection request means or connection response means. You can think of them as one computer saying hi to the other computer and the second computer responding with a hi. And then the first computer is asking for some information. This happens to be a get message which by which it's asking for a particular file and the second computer is providing that file and this whole thing works because there is a common set of rules that both these computers understand and when we mean uh, uh, when we say understand we mean there is software implemented on both of those computers which follow these specific set of rules because of which this message exchange worked so uh, what this the kind of the give a very uh, simple and straightforward example um, instead of uh, spoken language if you if you take written language as an example uh, when uh, you see this written on the screen you know that it is yes because you and I have a common understanding that this is how s yes is going to be represented and then when I write this you know that it means t and you and D and this is because there is a common understanding of the format of these letters that you and I share and when the message format is completed you know that I am telling you to study hard because you know there is an action that is associated with this message which is the teacher is telling me to study hard so that this communication was possible because of the common understanding of the message format and the common understanding of action associated with the message format and that is a protocol.